fundamental understanding of exercise and doesn't just stop with the with What's up? 筋肉早くです。さあ今日はマッサージや治療だけに頼るのが危険な理由見ていきましょう。怪我をしてもしていなくてもケアを行うことはとても大切です。僕もセルフケアをしつつ改善しきれないことについては専門家に見てもらっています今回は治療をただ丸投げするのは良くないとユニティジムさんが話してくれていますどんなことが良くないのでしょうか早速見ていきましょうどうぞ They don't tend to advocate exercise and working the body as a system It's fueled by an industry by design that relies on return business And I'm talking about physiotherapy, chiropractic, osteopathy,、uh, acupuncture. These industries, as long as they don't、uh, address the need for exercise, for movement, or they don't do it well, they're like doctors. They're really good at diagnosing, and they're, or, or generally they're quite good at diagnosing, and they're good at treating symptoms to help remove that discomfort. Now, I'm, I'm being very general here because, of course, like any industry, there are exceptions. There are very good practitioners, and we. Are fortunate to be surrounded by many of them, but a lot of them just by laziness or by exhaustion or whatever it is, that, and out of necessity to create a recurring revenue model for themselves, they don't tend to treat on a <coughs> macro level. They don't tend to advocate exercise and, and, and working the body as a system. There's always a、um, uh, we encourage people to work with a good physiotherapist. Who can diagnose and help you know, eliminate issues that,、uh, or, or, or、um, point you in the right direction? It comes with a, a, another disclaimer, which is to make sure that that person has a fundamental understanding of exercise and doesn't just stop with the, with the diagnosis.、Yeah. Um, uh, you know, like they, they actually have a plan, a strategy to get you moving again,、yeah. and, because otherwise it can be as detrimental as not going to a physio. So, how did you get to the show? 診断が得意な人が多い。その診断をした人が自分のやっている種目についての知識があるかどうか。治療の戦略を理解する。まとめるとこんな感じでしょうか。なかなか根本的な体の知識がないと治療のことなどそれぞれを理解することは難しいですよね。だけど、ただただ丸投げをしていて治療の戦略を無視した行動をとってしまうとそれは悪化の原因となりますよね。しっかりと方向性や治療内容を理解することが大切ですね。なので僕は自分に合う分かりやすい説明をしてくれる人をおすすめしますみんなは日常的にマッサージや治療を受けていますかコメント欄で教えてください僕は日常的には受けていないんですが数ヶ月に一度は必ず行くようにしています最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございますここでみんなに質問ですもし僕が実際海外に行くとしたらどんな企画どんなものが見たいですかコメント欄で教えてください感想や動画のリクエストチャンネル登録お待ちしてますではまた